perfect for a blonde. Right, with a half loop stitch on China silk. Uh-huh. But the thing is, you can't use a half loop stitch on China silk. It'll pucker. And you didn't just get this in because I saw it in last night's vote. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys! You know I'm about to buy last year's dress and this year's prize. Oh, stop right, you that sales girl's lies. I think you're perfect for a blonde, but I'm not that blonde. I may be in love with I'm stupid. I'm 
seriously in love with you. It's been my future's a plan. I've got some dreams to make true. I thought that you'd understand. It's time to get serious. It's time to get serious. Check this. There's no film studios. It's 
no big dark, no valley parking. All the girls has different noses. Christ! But if it's like the damn frontier, tell me what's out there they should do. Thank <laughs> you. 
flashy presentation, but I still don't see one reason to admit you. Happier. 
Cruiser loves Glee. See you later. I'm on the Fulbright and the road is I think this is yours, Woods, comma, L. Yes! Is this my social agenda? <laughs> no, it's your academic roster. Right, there's that. Okay, let's totally catch up after class. <laughs> Who is she? My ex-girlfriend. Oh, that pink you're wearing. Is that even legal? Pink is my signature color! So I got it. <laughs> Everyone take your seats. Callahan should be here any second now. I, three years ago, I was sitting right where you're sitting and I, the same rumors. Callahan's ruthless, he bathes in the blood of sheep, blah, blah, blah. Only partly true. What you really need to know is that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. Now, when would you block her the moment you there's that joke you're bound to hear. A lawyer is a shock. Ignore that. It's simplistic and it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks. Just some. The rest are chum. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time to fist. Law school is a waste. Unless, oh yes, you acquire a taste for blood in the water, dark and red and raw. You're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes your only law. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question: Would you be willing to defend the following baker accused of fraud? A kind old grandma to her savings, and she sent it. Off to your client, all she saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest it, but he spent it on alcohol and gambling and drugs. <gasps> no, I wouldn't take that case. Wrong! This one's a win unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke, she'll have some hack from legal aid. Put her on the stand and you can call her old and crazy. Your guy goes free and he can get you high and pay. Look for the Blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs will quarrel with the morally dubious jobs. Yes, blood in the water. Your scruples are a flop. Miss Hoops, hypothetical question. Would you be the right lawyer for the following client? Say they offer you a bundle for the day. A famous hitman for the mafia elite. Seems he missed his chosen prey. Told a nun and drove away, running over three cute puppies in the street. What? You think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lesbians think you're so tough. <laughs> oh dear, I fear my comment has offended. Hard to argue though when you're too mad to speak. Your employment will be very quickly ended when they see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a billion dollar law firm and I hire four new interns every year. From this class I will select four young sharks to my respect and those four will have a guaranteed career. Do you follow me? So I want to see what? Let the things begin. Four of you will win. But just those four with the dirt will fit. Yes, blood in the water. So bite and scratch and claw. Yes, Miss Who? Oh, what's Alfred? Someone's 
Saturday morning coffee. Would you summarize the case of the state of Indiana? Oh, I wanted to answer the puppy question. <laughs> but I asked you about the assigned reading. Okay, I mean, who assigned someone on the first day of class, right? <laughs> got guts, Miss Woods. Miss Kensington, let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School, a position that you're justly proud about. But a girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Should you let it go or... No, I'd throw her out. <coughs> oh. All right, then. You heard your classmate. You have just been killed. She cuts your throat, so grab your coat. Yes, you've got guts, but now they're spilled. Nut. She might stab me in the gut. With that stick that's off her butt. 
him I want you love Warner, but now he's... Uh, he's dating evil preppy. Okay, and what does she have that you don't? She's serious. What? Seriously, what does she have that you don't? Nothing. She's a complicated poser with a mouthy brown butt. But apparently that's what Warner wants, and so make me brunette. El, do you know the number one reason behind all bad hair decisions? What? Love! You're lost without your love. Your heart is on the floor. I can help you. I've been there before. When I need to relax, I just put on some tracks from this CD I bought for the store. Isn't that relaxing? It's called Celtic Boots! <laughs> See, my mom was three quarters Italian, and my father I never knew, but my grandfather came from Ireland, the land where dreams come true. Ireland, <laughs> he said, all Irishmen are like heroes, they're descended from poets and kings, so I swore I did marry
I got through law school by busting my ass, worked two jobs in addition to class, so forgive me for not sleeping at your day. <laughs> Just because you have some type of chip on your soul, right? You know what? You're right. There's a chip on my shoulder, and it's big as a boulder. With the chance I've been given, I gotta be driven in a cell. I'm so close I can taste it, so I'm not gonna wait to get There's a chip on my shoulder. You might want to get one as well. Oh, I'm sorry, but that sounds highly negative. Hey, I'm just being honest. When you weren't born into privilege, you gotta work twice as hard. And I want that sweatshirt back. Wait, wait, two jobs plus law school? How'd you do it? I haven't slept in seven years. No, oh, really, how'd you do it? Well, I don't go to parties a lot. Not good use of the time that I've got. Can't spend hours doing my hair or staying in shape. <laughs> I don't spend hours. Though I know it'll all be worthwhile. And I win my first lucrative trial and buy my mom that great big house out on the cake. It's so sweet. No, got the chip on my shoulder. I hugged my mom and told her with the chance I've been given. I gotta be driven in a cell, though I can't take the day off. I just think of the payoff. You need a chip on your shoulder. Little Miss Woods come by. No, I can see you from that. I'm serious. What you need to do is to get to work. Take yourself at home. Hello, Pink. <laughs> you drink a lot of Red Bulls, don't you? It gives. So you can stay up late studying? What? I said studying. You do study, don't you? <laughs> Where are those law books? Uh, they're under the... Under the... The pile of... Pile of... Clothes? Clothes. Pink clothes, pink clothes. Pink clothes. Um, check uh, the, the bed. <laughs> there's a lot of clothes on the bed. <sighs> Everything myself, just one second, I'll be out there. Uh, check in my drawers? Drawers, drawers. Lots of drawers. Drawer one, drawer two. Lots of it. You know, this vanity's real picturesque. But it started in life as a desk. Clear it off and find some room for books instead. Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what this is. It's for hair. Spend some time improving what's inside your head. Out, out, put it in store and sell it on eBay, leave it behind. Out, out, what are you angry? Good, so get angry. You may find a ship on your shoulder. The room just got colder. But with the chance you've been given, why are you not driven as hell? There's just no way around it. You gotta follow each other. Been reading it hard, I can tell. I love this guy so much. 
I'll just leave you two alone now. Bye! Oh, that made you were so sweet to think of me. And those flowers and everything. <laughs> Noticed before, but each time Warner walks through the door, your IQ goes down to 40, maybe less. <laughs> Though it's hardly my business to say, could it be the real thing in your way? Is the very guy you're trying to impress? Yes. I've been smiling and sweet and thoroughly. Mr. Latimer's sperm, the tongue in question wouldn't exist. Now you're thinking like a lawyer. Yes, Miss Woods. Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point, but did the defendant keep a log of every sperm emission made throughout his life? Interesting. Why do you ask? Well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every sexual encounter to see if a child. But he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? I see your point. And by Mr. Huntington's definitions, every emission where the sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be called reckless abandonment. Miss Woods, you just won your case. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Excellent work today. I assume you're applying for my internship. Do you have a resume? I must have ahead of you! And thanks in advance for your consideration! <laughs> Dear God, it's sent! Three months ago I would have recycled this. Make sure to put it on fire. Guess you got a chip on her shoulder. Maybe some wise man told her. With the chance we've been given, we gotta be driven ourselves. She was something to see there. I'm just happy I could be there. First big tattoo she aced it. She's so close she can take it. She got a chip on her shoulder. Guess you never cared. Yeah. Little Miss Woods gone. Thank <laughs> you. 
genius. Oh, Emmett, you're a genius. <clears throat>
you can turn this off right now, my workout's gone for you. I'm talking to the woman who wants it all, gotta pay for what you get. Cause size too close, don't go to those too crazy to sweat. I want you put into shape. When I say jump, say how high. You know you're doing it right. When you start to cry, and you don't look like you should. You got to whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Sorry, ladies, no mistake. Till you're put into shape. Come on, Dana, you heifer, work it out! <laughs> I hate you, Brooke, but I love you for it. <laughs> we have a lot to cover. Me, Tarbrand, and Clyde, and Brooke. You can laugh, but she's made tons of her DVDs and book. Whip your way to title book. Happily married, so she swears to her 16-year-old stud Till stepdaughter came downstairs and found Brooke all covered in his blood If Brooke took a plea, I'd have her out in three to four But she claims she did not kill him, did she? Let's watch some more It's more than just a workout, it's a defensive weapon too <gasps> Simply wrap it around your assailant's neck and pull till he turns blue You can also use the pendant and hammer Tucker spine and all four three small pants of 1999. You'll have your wind into shape when you get great from the gut. Put him over with this till he starts to cry. If you don't act like you should, you've got to win. Okay, now here is where you kids come in. Brooke has trouble trusting me. I'm her only chance to win, but I don't speak MTV. Though Brooke won't help her own defense, she may listen to her fears. Go and place a little sense in the space between her ears. Not now. I want her whipped into shape. If there's a brain in that hair, tell it that I am the key. It's the plea or the chair. See, when I talk to her, I can neither plea nor plan nor alibi to quote our dependents. I want her whipped into shape to the jail. does not mean we can't become the best that we can be. Yeah! Here we go. Circle, circle, under, over, through, around. Again, circle, circle, under, over, through, around. Circle, circle, under, over, through, around. You can't break out of here, so you might as well break a sweat. Left, right. Left, right. Good. Left. Message back to your band. That's all I want. This should be easy. Great. 
Callahan briefed me on your meeting, and there seems to be a significant amount of evidence against you to free you that Jerry will need to hear an alibi. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Even if oh. it would save you? Yeah, put me on the stand and I'll be forced to lie. Okay, Miss Window, if we can't hear an alibi, we should at least accept a plea bargain. And admit to something I didn't do? But a plea bargain means you could get out in a couple of years. That sounds reasonable, right? Reasonable to do time for my husband's killer? Not really. She's tough. Yeah, sister. Yo, not related. <laughs> I need a defense team that knows I'm innocent. Get out of here, all of you. Guard! And if I impress him, he'll make the associate. Okay, but just prize our integrity and our client's trust. Well, when you put it that way. Exactly. You butthead. My word means something, and yours is too. No one's called me butthead since the third grade. Maybe not to your face. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Why do you always Listen, have to be right? I don't have to be. I just nail when I'm with you. Listen, if you need help in present Callahan, I can totally help you. Okay, how? Listen, I love, love, love this whole scruffy look you got going on. But casual parties is so not in Callahan's vocabulary. If you want to impress him, you have to look the part. Oh, didn't your mother ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? She did. And books with tiny covers just stay on the shelf. Oh, thanks a lot. Hey, listen, it isn't a perfect world. Think people haven't judged me my whole life? 
think it wasn't a good, a good idea to make Black my new fake? Oh, no, that was a good idea. I know. Where are we going exactly? You trust me, don't you? Of course. And why stop now? <laughs> what is this place? It's called a department. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> No, thank you. I know you're scared. Nevertheless, think of the people you want to impress. Swallow your pride for me, just not less, and prepare.
more than my team's doing. They're all over me for Brazil. Including your friend. Well, he is on the team too. Right. And we're making one. Hold on. He's just a friend. I can use a friend like that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
chalk it all up to experience. They said I failed, but I disagreed. Who could say that where my path would lead? But now I know. Back to the start, back to the shore, back to what I was before. Back where I know, back in my own, there is no And just drown. That's fine with me. Just let me be legally wrong. There she is, intern of the year. Thanks for your help and for all you've done. Thank you for treating me decently. What's wrong? Maybe someday you can visit me. Give me a call, say hello. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Sorry, I'm letting down everyone. What brought on you this? You did your best, but the fool is king. That's ludicrous. You are the best thing about this place. Well, you shouldn't go. Callahan hit on me. What? He kissed me. He fired me. He made it clear I don't belong. Well, well, by the way, wrong. please, no. Hey, there's no reason for me to stay. What about love? I, I never mentioned love. The timing's bad, I know. But perhaps if I made it more clear that you belong right here, you wouldn't have to go. Cause you know that I'm so much in back to the Making a difference, but it turns out I'm just one big blonde joke, and that's 
call anyone, so we're gonna see. Maybe uh, warn herself blonde, sleeping her way to the job. But I see a woman who doesn't have to. I used to pray for the day to leave. Swore up and down.
sir. Elwood's can't represent you. She's just a law student. Actually, she can. 303 of the Supreme Judicial Court states that a law student, Miss Elwood, may represent a defendant in criminal proceedings. Only if she has a licensed attorney with her, and without me, she does oh, not. Yes, she does, Your Honor. I'm licensed. I'll gladly sue for that. Like Elwood, Bill. You work for me, remember? Oh, no. I work for myself, and I don't have to hit on interns, Professor. <laughs> Enjoy prison, Miss Window. Okay, bye! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mayor. Did you actually think I was going to let you get away with that? Uh, Miss Woods, any day now. You may proceed. <clears throat> My father. And did you actually see this murder take place? No, I was in the shower, but when I got out, Brooke was standing over my father's body, drenched in his blood. <laughs> You're fine, Al. Go ahead. Um, Miss Wyndham, you came on the day of the murder. Uh, did you see anyone suspicious hanging around your shower? Suspiciously hanging around my shower? No, before that. I was out getting a perm. Then you came back home and you took a shower. Yes, I was in the shower. <laughs> uh, Your Honor, I'd like to go to the bathroom. Shouldn't you have done that before the murder trial? <laughs> no, I would like us all to go to the bathroom. Why do girls always do that? <laughs> no, I would like us all to go to the bathroom where this alleged shower took place. I'll allow it, Miss Woods.
we do belong together. Oh, Warner, Vivian dumped you, didn't she? Happy is 